You've talked about the subject of DMT and curious to know what role you think psychedelics may have in addressing some of the more destructive tendencies of humanity. Well, I think generally uh, people should be open to psychedelics. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So as you heard in the introduction there, Elon Musk has said that he generally believes that people should be open to psychedelics. I'm so incredibly shocked and surprised. I never expected this day would come. I'm just trolling you guys. I knew this day would come. The very first video I posted on this channel was entitled Elon Musk's Psychedelic Secret. This was no accident. I'll put a card in the corner for those of you who haven't seen this video. It's a pretty short watch. It runs in at 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Also, not an accident. So, I've been waiting for this day for almost two years. I didn't know when this day would come, but I knew it would come, and here we are. So, in today's video, we'll be veering outside the usual range of topics just a little bit and discussing psychedelics, these tools, in a little bit more detail. And fear not, I will actually be posting some highlights from Elon's full CodeCon 2021 interview very shortly, so if you're interested in that stuff, stay tuned. For now, I need to discuss this in more detail. The great thing about having a YouTube channel and metaphorical balls the size of a planet is that I get to talk about exactly what I want to, unfiltered, unvarnished, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, consequences be damned. I know to many people this is a controversial subject. I know there's going to be many people that get very angry because I'm not talking about Tesla stock today. The wonderful thing is, I give literally zero fucks. If I were to list the three most important, meaningful experiences of my entire life, all three would have a common thread, psychedelics. Now, let me be clear, I'm not blindly advocating or recommending their use. In fact, quite the opposite. I think everyone watching should stay away from these substances, these tools, unless, unless they are extremely curious, do an enormous amount of homework, and at some point in time, using their own brain, using their own reasoning faculties, decide, you know what? I think I'm ready. This is something for me. They are not for everyone. In fact, I don't think they are for most people, but as Elon Musk said, and I'm in complete agreement, I think everyone should be open to psychedelics. I'm a very big fan of thinking for oneself, doing one's own homework, drawing one's own conclusions, and then acting accordingly. If you don't think for yourself, if you're a bit of a sheep, you like to be told what to think, believe, and do, you may be prone to inheriting some beliefs that may not actually be grounded in reality. You might have blanket opinions about subjects you know literally nothing about. In fact, a good example of this would be the basement dwelling self-hating adult virgins of Tesla Q, who rather than thinking for themselves and really trying to understand what was going on with Tesla the company and Tesla stock, they inherited their opinions. They had a little bit of a bias. They looked through a tiny straw when they were actually trying to assess this company. This opportunity decided the company was extremely overvalued, that they were going bankrupt, decided to short the stock, lost all their money, and that's why they still currently live in their mum's basement. The reason I bring up the blind dingbats of Tesla Q is to give the folks who are currently getting a little bit squeamish about the very discussion, the topic of psychedelics, who've inherited some beliefs and opinions from elsewhere rather than thinking and doing their own homework, to give them a little bit of food for thought. Hang on a minute. Is it possible that my thoughts about this particular topic could be the same as the people who think Tesla's going bankrupt? Is that possible? Yes, it is. So with that out of the way, and now that the folks who've realized I'm not going to be discussing Tesla stock in today's video have already left, I want to get into the video today. Now, just for the record, I'm actually going to put the very first video I posted on this YouTube channel inside this video. If you haven't seen it, feel free to skip ahead about 4 minutes and 20 seconds. For those of you who were too lazy to click the card earlier, I do think it's worth understanding to give you guys and girls some context because like I said, this was the very first video I posted on this YouTube channel. That wasn't an accident. There was a reason. I knew this day would come. Now we're here, so let's rewind the clock almost two years to see what I had to say about Elon Musk and psychedelics in late 2019. The billionaires I know, almost without exception, use hallucinogens on a regular basis. And it's, it's still tripping me out. I mean, I'm tripping balls here. <laughs> oh, uh, next question in the room. You know what can help that? What? Mushrooms. <laughs> Mushrooms. Don't you think? They're delicious. Yeah, right? Yeah. They're good for you, too. Yeah. All of them. All kinds of them. <laughs> hey. I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. Tesla shares currently comprise more than three quarters of my stock portfolio. I've also taken psychedelics more times than you've had birthdays. In this video, I'm laying out a few clues as to why I believe Elon Musk is the most disruptive innovator of our time. Being incredibly smart, ambitious, driven, and having a high pain threshold isn't enough to repeatedly do the impossible. There's something else at play. 
For years, I've had my suspicions that Elon Musk uses psychedelics for creative problem solving. I have absolutely no evidence, just a hunch. With that said, let's look at some of the clues. Maybe you'll draw the same conclusions that I have, perhaps not. Elon Musk has been a regular attendee of the Burning Man Festival since the early 2000s and has stated that, quote, Burning Man is Silicon Valley. If you don't know what happens at Burning Man, well, Google it. The answer may involve letters such as LSD, MDMA, DMT, THC. Solar City has a Burning Man origin story as well. And of course, the Musk Foundation donated $10,000 towards the construction of art at Burning Man Festival. Isn't that interesting? At the time of the infamous 420 tweet, Musk's girlfriend Grimes, a performer, had a guest over, a sociopath named Azalea Banks, who's been known to talk shit and lie about people like it's her job. Even so, let's see what she had to say to her Instagram followers in the wake of the infamous tweet. DMT is the world's most powerful psychedelic. I've smoked it and been blasted into other dimensions, and I've drank it in an ayahuasca brew and had transformative insights. For most people who've ever smoked DMT, this tweet should be intuitive and self-explanatory. If not, I'll leave it up to your imagination. This article claims to have been written by a person who sold psychedelics to Elon Musk. It may be a complete fabrication, we have no way of knowing. It should not be trusted as accurate or assumed to be true, but it exists. Uh, psychedelic cowbell road? What the fuck? And what do we have here? A tweet from Elon Musk suggesting that LSD may provide insights. The skies are polluted. The world is addicted to oil. But we're here to offer a solution. The Cybertruck. Everyone was warned that it was going to look like it had just driven off a movie set. Wouldn't be for everybody, but like honestly. This is a real product that's coming to market. What the actual fuck? Like, who designs this? I'll tell you who designs this. Somebody who's tripping balls. Once again, I've got absolutely no evidence, but hey, would it really surprise you if some psychedelics were involved in this design? Ultimately, I think that there's only two realistic conclusions that we can draw here. Either Elon Musk does take psychedelics regularly and use them as creative problem solving tools and this is one of the reasons why he's able to innovate so effectively and repeatedly and consistently. Or his neurochemistry is such that he's basically tripping balls 24 seven anyway. But if that was the case, goodness me, he's incredibly skilled at keeping it together considering he's started and running two multi-billion dollar companies as we speak and doing pretty well at it too. Well, I gotta say, that video aged pretty well. Now, you guys have probably noticed by now that humility is not the strong point of my YouTube persona. Whether or not that carries over into reality, well, you'll just have to wait and meet me one day to find out. And while we're on the topic of humility and a complete and utter lack thereof, I'd also like to take this opportunity to remind you folks that this isn't the first time I've planted a seed that turned out to germinate rather rapidly. I also did my best in the early days of this channel to warn everybody that I personally thought that Tesla stock would head to the moon. It's probably a good opportunity there. I shared all my research. I mean, I've literally made about 550 plus videos just on Tesla trying to explain my investment thesis on the company. A few people did their own homework after seeing that video thank me in the comments and I'm glad you guys and girls did your homework as well and drew similar conclusions I also spent months and months calling out Nikola 30 plus videos trying to point out that I thought that company looked like a gigantic fucking scam allegedly now I suspect some of you are wondering right now do you have a point you arrogant prick or are you just gloating there is actually a point there is method to my madness here I'm doing my best attempting to lay a little bit of groundwork so the next time one of you guys or girls are watching a video and I make a claim sounds a little bit audacious or grapes you the wrong way because you think there's no way that's wrong he's wrong he doesn't know what he's talking about take a step back and think to yourself just what if what if he may actually be onto something you don't have to agree with me in fact I encourage you to vehemently disagree with me but back up your argument do your homework know what you are talking about. Occasionally, I've discussed other things on this channel, rabbit holes that I've spent years, sometimes a decade plus going down, really understanding what I'm talking about and having an enormous amount of pushback from people who literally don't know what they're talking about. Please don't be that person. Again, you don't have to agree with me, but really make sure that your arguments are on solid ground. And now with that gigantic deviation out of the way, it's time to get into the crux of this video. My thoughts and my personal experiences with psychedelic. So let's get into it. 
If you love crypto, stocks, and free stuff, or just want to help out the channel, check out these great offers. BlockFi are launching the world's first Bitcoin rewards credit card. People in the US can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase with no annual fee using the BlockFi Bitcoin rewards credit card. Check out the link in the description. And for a limited time, you can get up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the the link in the description and if you'd like up to two free stocks check out the link in the description to Weeble. if you open a new account you'll get one free stock valued up to three hundred dollars just for opening an account and if you make an initial deposit of five dollars or more you'll get a second free stock valued up to two thousand dollars seriously Free stocks? Yes, please. And finally, if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also linked in the description. Thanks so much for your support, guys. Let's get back to it. So, surprise, we're actually going to be talking about Tesla stock. Hmm, seems a little bit weird. I thought you were talking about psychedelics. Well, there is a common thread. In fact, there is a very strong connection. See, from 2012 to 2014, from the release of the Model S, I actually spent many, many, many weekends hanging out with my friend Lucy, if you're not sure what I'm referring to, do some Googling. I'm not going to hold your hand through this one. Anyway, Lucy and I did a little bit of thinking about Tesla, the investment opportunity. And I just want to be clear here. These were meticulously planned out trips. My whole goal, my sole purpose, think about Tesla. Yes, I literally meticulously planned out. You know what? I'm going to take this. I'm going to gain a new perspective. I'm going to think about Tesla, the investment opportunity, the company, electric vehicles, blah, 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 blah. Now, it's my personal experience that psychedelics tend to give me a new perspective, the ability to look at a problem, an idea, etc., from multiple new angles that I cannot seem to access in my normal conscious state. You may be different. You may be able to access these different viewpoints and these different perspectives and see things from a dozen different angles that I don't seem to be able to access without the assistance of these tools. Had I not carved out these weekends and spent the time looking at Tesla from every conceivable angle, trying to get out of my usual headspace, try to see things from a new perspective, I may never have recognized the investment opportunity. If I'm being honest, I suspect I probably would have figured it out at some point in time, but nowhere near as soon, nowhere near as early as I did. Now, I said earlier that the three most meaningful experiences of my entire life involved altered states of consciousness. I'm not going to go into great detail about this experience. I've done this on Patreon. If you're not on my Patreon, I'll put a card in the corner. Sign up, have a search for the tag psychedelics, and you'll be able to hear all about these extremely important experiences. Suffice to say, they transformed me completely as a human being for the better. So much so, in fact, that for the better part of the last decade, the sole beneficiary, excluding little bits here and there, in terms of my philanthropic contributions, my donations to charity, has been MAPS.org, the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. And... MAPS is also the primary beneficiary of my will. Sorry if any of my family members happen to be watching, rip you. The reason that I've been single-mindedly channeling all of my resources in this one direction is because I believe that psychedelics used in a therapeutic setting have the potential to reduce or end suffering for literally hundreds of millions of people. MAPS and others have done extensive research, including clinical trials, using these tools to help people with treatment-resistant depression, addiction, PTSD, and more. The efficacy demonstrated in these trials is truly stunning. But this is a topic for another day. So it's time for a quick story, which is highly relevant to today's discussion. In 2018, early in the year, I decided to retire, aka take a sabbatical and figure out where to from here. I had enough recurring income and assets in real estate that I didn't need to work again for the rest of my life. This was for a lean fire, right? A very basic retirement, I had all my basic needs covered, food, accommodation, shelter, clothing, etc. Not a lavish lifestyle, but enough. And this gave me the space to take a step back. The reason that I did this, because I had a goal that I'd set during a psychedelic trip, in fact, many years prior, to have a significant positive impact on as many people as I can. At least a billion. Sounds a bit ridiculous. That's the idea. Million, 10 million, 100 million, piece of cake, I can do that. Let's aim for a billion, something that's really going to stretch me. The problem was, in the business I was working at the time, doing finance, I realized there was a ceiling on the number of people I could positively impact, and I needed to take a step back, otherwise I'd never have a hope of reaching that goal. After more than a year of deliberation, thinking to myself, man, this finance business, I love what I'm doing, but I'm not reaching as many people as I want to. What do I do? How do I scale? How do I leverage? I decided I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to retire. I'm going to head overseas. I'm going to go into the jungles of Peru. I'm going to do some traditional ayahuasca ceremonies and try to figure out where to from here. 
Well, long story short, in the midst of one of my ayahuasca ceremonies, the answer came to me. Start this YouTube channel. Now, you might be thinking, Stephen, are you seriously that dumb that you couldn't think of YouTube before you took ayahuasca? Like, did you really need to go to the jungles of Peru and take this brew and vomit and purge and rah, 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 just to figure out that YouTube would help you reach more people? Well, yes and no. See, I'd already thought about the idea of YouTube, but the problem was I didn't have the conviction. My ayahuasca experience, the ceremony, thinking about this, realizing YouTube, it struck me. I had absolute conviction this was what I needed to do. I realized that I could not live with myself if I didn't do my best to try to alert people to the opportunity that I saw in Tesla, aka Tesla stock. This is where I posted my very first video, Elon Musk's psychedelic secret, soon followed by why I'm all in on Tesla stock, waiting for Tesla stock to dip, good luck, blah, 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 blah. This is where I first started the YouTube channel. Tesla stock, since that point in time, more than a 10x increase in value. Look at the timing. If I just waited an extra six or 12 months, I would have missed the opportunity to alert hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people, according to my YouTube analytics, about the opportunity in Tesla stock. I read all the comments and I've seen literally thousands upon thousands of people who said, hey man, I found your channel. You said some stuff. I thought, hmm, does that make sense? I did some homework. I decided to invest in Tesla. Thank you, I made a lot of money. So you guys and girls, every single person who found this channel, Eventually, after doing your own homework, vetting my opinions, my thoughts and my ideas, drawing your own conclusions, decided to invest in Tesla stock and has made a cent of profit, you can thank my psychedelic experience in the jungles of Peru having taken the ayahuasca brew. And by the way, let me know in the comments below if you guys and girls would be interested in reading my trip reports from my four ayahuasca ceremonies. I wrote in detail exactly what I experienced, my thoughts, the visuals, everything, all the changes made as well. So let me know. I'm considering sharing these with my Patreon supporters. They're very personal, but I'm happy to share it if you guys and girls are interested. Just finally, I want to tie everything together and be warned, this is going to get a little bit meta. Most of you folks watching this channel will know that I have a few million dollars in Tesla stock, I have a relatively high income. Up until recently, I was living on almost nothing. I spent three years overseas, extremely low living costs, living in South America, very frugal. Very recently, I've got a fancy new apartment, the reason that I've done this is so I can continue creating more content on the YouTube channel. Everything I need is right underneath. It saves me a huge amount of time. So I see this as an investment. But outside of that, I keep my living costs extremely low. Apart from looking after my health, I don't spend a huge amount on entertainment. I'm not interested in toys. I'm an absolute minimalist. And one of the core reasons that I live a very minimalist lifestyle, in fact, I spend less than 10% of my total income on all of my expenses and I invest the rest, isn't because I wanna buy a yacht when I'm 50. No, 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 it's because I wanna have a significant positive impact on as many people as I can. As I mentioned earlier, this goal came from one of my early psychedelic experiences. I was thinking about meaning and purpose, what's gonna get me up in the morning, keep me up late at night, and I realized that if instead of focusing on me, I was focusing on others, this would be the best way for me to live my life. People ask me all the time, why don't you spoil yourself? Why don't you treat yourself? Why don't you buy a Tesla, blah, 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 blah. And the reason is, I'm trying to divert as much money as I possibly can for doing capital intensive philanthropy in the later parts of my life. Stage one, at this point in time, my best way of impacting a lot of people in a positive way was YouTube. It cost me almost nothing but time. I've got massive leverage. I can reach tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, even millions of people over the long term. Stage two, when I've accumulated hundreds of millions of dollars through savvy investing and living extremely frugally, is to deploy that capital to do as much good for as many people as I possibly can. And how exactly do I intend on deploying that capital and doing good in the world? Well, a lot can change between now and then. I've still got to multiply my capital by a couple of orders of magnitude. But assuming not a huge amount of stuff changes between now and then, the most likely place this is gonna be deployed, at least a large portion, is towards the proliferation of psychedelics to use as tools in psychotherapy for people to alleviate forms of suffering, including addiction, depression, PTSD, and more. I'm also very interested, and this is the first time I've discussed this publicly, my patrons have already heard about this idea. I'm very interested in potentially funding research, artificial intelligence, deep learning, applying neural networks to developing new substances, new psychedelics with new potential for reducing or eliminating suffering in millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, maybe even billions of people. And I also believe there's great potential for these being used for people for personal development, people who aren't necessarily suffering from addiction, depression, treatment resistant disorders. Instead, people who just want to expand the scope and scale of their consciousness, do a little bit of introspective work and ultimately try to become better people. There is absolutely no question that in my personal experience, I am a much better person, a much better human being for having had my psychedelic experiences. Once again, I want to reiterate, these are not for everyone. I'm just sharing my personal experience. 
and I do so knowing that most regular viewers of this channel won't have even bothered clicking on this video, let alone watched until the end, and that's okay. Like I said earlier, I'm here to share my thoughts and opinions, try to have a positive impact on people, and I think this is a video worth sharing. I wish more people would come out of the closet, so to speak, and discuss their own experiences with psychedelic. I know there's a lot of you out there, but you don't have balls big enough to actually do it. Maybe one day they'll grow to a sufficient size where you feel comfortable to talk about these experiences. But until then, I'm going to continue to share my experiences and my perspective, because I think in a roundabout way, this too can have a positive impact on a lot of people. These tools have unquestionably changed my life for the better, and there is no other experience that even comes close. As I've said repeatedly, they are not for everyone. Great caution must be taken, but in my personal experience, they have been extremely useful, profoundly beneficial tools. And as Elon Musk said in the introduction to this video, I think generally uh, people should be open to psychedelics. Yeah. So with that said, let me know what you guys and girls thought in the comments below. Do you personally have any experiences with these tools? Have they had a positive impact or a negative impact on your life? Have they been useful in thinking, seeing things from new perspectives? Are you somebody who immediately began to squirm in your chair the instant you clicked on this video? And if so, congratulations on sticking around. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And finally, before I sign off today, I wanna to give you guys and girls just a little bit of an insight. The fact that you've stuck around is awesome. I wanna share a little bit of an insight that you may not be aware of. You've probably noticed at the end of every single one of my videos since day one on this channel. I've exclaimed, professed that I love you all. I really mean this. Now, where on earth may this have come from? The idea of loving everybody. Bingo, some of my early psychedelic experiences. And I wanna be really clear. This love can manifest itself in a variety of ways, but I'm always coming from a good place, trying to have a positive impact. Now, some people, they get a little bit caught up in the window dressing, the persona, the delivery, etc. They fail to realize, if I'm calling somebody an analyst a moron because they've misunderstood Tesla, it's not because I'm trying to hurt their feelings or be mean. It's my attempt to illuminate some of the flaws in their thinking. Overall, if they can see these flaws in their thinking, they'll be better for it, aka they won't lose colossal amounts of money. And even if I'm not able to directly change their opinion, their perspective, I can certainly have an impact on others who've heard their thoughts, taken it on board without really thinking too much about it. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm genuinely one of the most loving, obnoxious, arrogant, abrasive pricks you've ever met. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan, this is Solving the Money Problem, and I really do love you all. And don't forget the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card where you can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase. There's a link in the description. You can also earn up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, also linked below. And finally, don't forget your free stocks with Weeble and Stake, also linked in the description. These great offers also help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.